Hello, hello! I am working on the Patreon postcards for this month, so I sketched out a bunch of different kinds and shapes of umbrellas on regular copy paper and cut them out and put them on here in a layout that I think I like. And so then I traced it onto my postcard paper. This is Etcher postcard paper, 100% cotton vegan friendly. So now I need to test this. My only question is, cause this was like the first test, is do I want to tape it? And I use a very wet wash, so I think I do want to tape it. It just means that we lose some of our area for painting, which is kind of sad. And I did this one too, just as a test to see, but I needed to work on my umbrella shapes with this one. These are more like starbursts because I didn't sketch the umbrellas on this one. I just painted it, so really it just, it's fun. I just don't know what it looks like. But anyway, I like this one, but it requires composition, tracing, masking, painting. Should be fun though. I think I will tape it, because I want to make sure that I am happy with it. Okay, well, anyway, we'll go through that. Real quick to explain what a Patreon postcard is, I have different tiers over on my Patreon site. At the $4 and up level, you get postcards from me. The $4 tier gets a postcard every fourth month and the $9 tier gets one every single month. And they're not always going to be originals. Some of them will be prints eventually, but this month again is an original postcard. There's also extra videos over there that are ad free. So if you're interested in extra content, line art if I have it, like this can be line art that I'll upload for you guys on Patreon. Stuff like that, every time I have it, I will post on Patreon for you. So if you're interested in that, I'll put the link down in the description box and it's up on the screen right now too. So every single design has to be traced onto the paper and then I use this Daniel Smith masking fluid with applicators and it comes to a very fine point to mask off the ribs of the umbrellas and then I use it also to put some raindrops in there. So it's kind of neat that particular tip kept coming off. It's the only one I've ever had trouble with. So I did switch to a different one when I do this again later and that worked a lot better. This is the same masking fluid applicator that I used when I did my bricks painting. And if you didn't see that, I'll link that up in the corner in the description box below for you. It works really well. I'm very happy with it. It makes the really fine lines so easy. And since I changed the design over that first one that I showed you that only had the four umbrellas on it, I am just doing one so that I can test it out and make sure that I really like it. I ended up really loving that first one, though, with just the four umbrellas. And I did send that to one of my Patreon supporters. I hope that... She also enjoyed it. Anyway, these have more umbrellas. It just gets a little bit more complicated, but I think these are oh so pretty. So I am using my Mission Gold paint, and I have it set up in a cloverleaf palette, and these are all highly light fast ones from Mission Gold. I set this palette up specifically for that. So my Patreon supporters that receive this, they shouldn't have to worry about where they set it. It should last for a good long while. At least that's the idea, right? <laughs> And then once I get the umbrellas all painted in, I do have to let those dry before I do the background color. And sometimes, like, there's a big part of me that wants to try this even again and let the umbrella colors bleed more into the background, kind of like that red one did already, because I think that would be really cool. So that may be something I'll try in the future. So you can see that I'm wetting the entire background, and this is the part that actually takes the longest is getting the water and all those little intricate sections. And sometimes when you do this, you have to go back and re-wet other sections, but I didn't have to too badly on this paper. And this is the Van Dyke Green from Mission Gold. I think that's the right name for it anyway. And it's just a beautiful dark green. Makes me realize how much I absolutely love dark greens. Probably need to add a dark green to my White Knights palette. If you saw that video I did, I'm like, oh, I'm kind of needing a green here, a different green than I have. So be a good color choice to look for for that palette would be a nice dark green. So once I lay that initial layer of green down I kind of assess it and see if it needs to be darker anywhere else. So I, you can see I'm dabbing in more dark green at the top. I'm tilting the board up so the paint can kind of run down if the paper is still wet enough and I do adjust some of the values under the uh, umbrellas at some point. Once that step is finished, then I have to let the painting completely dry because it has to be bone dry like you can see here to get the masking fluid off. And I use rolled up masking tape. I find that works really good to grab that masking fluid and help pull it off. And it also keeps my fingers and their oils and all of that off of the painting. 
Sometimes I wonder about the tape goo, but I didn't have any trouble with it, never have, and hopefully never will. And then once the masking fluid is all pulled off, I can just adjust some of the values near where the masking fluid was, soften some edges, stuff like that. So that's the fun part. <laughs> And then once I get the tape pulled off, I just take an eraser and erase any pencil lines that may remain. At that point, I'm pretty happy with it. I want to try doing a background of the umbrellas, though, that's a little bit lighter than the last one I tried. So these have little lighter umbrellas for their base layer. But I'm still trying to get that deep contrast in the little, uh, what do you call those, valleys of the umbrella, if you will. Anyway, it's fun regardless. I just love the dark base layer. I love this light base layer. This one took a little bit more work, though, in... I think, then keeping it dark. I don't know. I can't decide. I'm, st I'm still trying to figure that out. So once that's all done, masking fluid comes off again. That's so much fun. <laughs> I just love seeing the raindrops and the highlights on the umbrellas. It's just awesome. So I did a few more that were just not on video for that and sent them out to my Patreon supporters. And then these were leftovers that I just had on the postcards. And I did these this morning, today is Thursday, you're seeing this on a Friday, so I did this yesterday to you guys just because I'm like, oh, I have them all ready to go and they're already masked out, I might as well paint them and I kind of felt like painting. And in these two versions, I really wanted to try and push the contrast between the light part of the umbrella and the dark part of the umbrella and it kind of worked in some of the umbrellas and didn't work so well in the others, but that's okay. For a day I wasn't feeling 100%, I painted and I was a happy camper. I painted these up and now I have two extra postcards and I'm glad because I loved this design so much that I'm glad to have some here that I can look at and I don't know, if someone else signs up, maybe they'll get sent one of these. So I was impatient to get the next steps going and I put this in direct sunlight in my window so it was just where sun was shining in through the window I laid this out to dry and I had a harder time getting the masking fluid off of this one no surprise right you're not supposed to warm up your masking fluid so yeah take that lesson to heart it was quite a challenge getting it off this time here the last two are all done the previous ones have already been sent off to my patreon supporters and if you wanted to see what they got last month they got one that looked like that, or similar, because they're all original, so everyone turns out a little bit differently than the one before it. Yeah, check out my Patreon site if you're interested in getting a postcard from me. And they're not always going to be originals, I think I've warned you guys before, but sometimes they are. While I only have six or so to send out, I can sometimes handle originals, and sometimes you'll probably get a print. Well, whether you are a Patreon supporter or not, I hope you've enjoyed this painting session because I sure have. It's so fun to do these and i like, oh, why repeat a painting so many times? But it's really neat because I learn a lot from each iteration of it and I want to try different things. Like this one, I tried the people being darker and the area around them being lighter and so it's fun to try different things. All right, guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye for now. My goodness. Must have wore him out for him to be okay with that. <laughs>